We are in the thick of summer where the days are long and hot. The grass has turned to yellow brown and the plum stone fruit is bountiful and perfectly ripe. This is my first year having a bigger garden and to say that tending to it is one of the highlights of my day would be an understatement. My only wish is that I would have planted more, but this was a dip my toes in kind of year and I'm only just beginning. After a particularly rough six months emotionally, I seem to have turned a corner and have found a new sense of joy and peace. I feel more and more like my old self, yet I know that that isn't true. You can't go through cancer and return to your old self. You go through and you learn way too much. So the last six months have been a painful shedding of sorts, like a snake losing its old skin. I'm learning how to be comfortable in my new one. I've been trying to slow down a lot and allow myself to just be a bit more. Working on home projects has ceased to exist right now. It's honestly too hot and that isn't really where my focus or motivation is right now. I've been making a good amount of art and just getting back from a three day market in Bellingham, a city about an hour and a half north of Seattle. But really where my creativity has been lying right now has been in writing. I used to write a lot, but it's been harder over the last two years. I think it was a combination of processing all the grief and maybe being on too high of an antidepressant because nothing was coming to me. It was a numbness I was a bit unfamiliar with. However, a week or so ago, it was as if a bubble popped and all of these words started pouring out of me. So I have been writing a lot. I'm focusing on sharing more on Substack, which I have linked below. It feels really good and like I'm fully living into where I'm supposed to be right now. I got fingers. They'll pet you. Come here. Lulu, come see mama. I've been gone for four days. Is this you punishing me for leaving? Yeah, yeah it is, huh? I'm sorry. I had to go make money to buy you kibble. Hey, your extraordinary vet bills. I love you. I love you. I missed you so much. I can't promise you I'll never leave again because I got to continue making you money for your expensive lifestyle. But I love you. Come here. Come here, my stinker. Just got done with a very long work day and it is hot and um, it's hot and so there's fans galore happening out there but I'm not complaining this is my favorite time of year it's so funny when I look in the mirror when my hair is dry and up like I wear it up like that um, it feels so long but then every time I take it out of my towel after I shower it just feels so short again <sighs> I guess it'll be a a long a long road until I get to the length I really want I have been trying to work on my skincare routine um, I was feeling like I was looking a little bit old or just unhealthy so this is a TikTok shop fine it's Kojic Kojic acid and turmeric cleansing pads I don't know I think they make my skin look good when they do what they are supposed to be doing so you just scrub for like a minute and then you let it sit. The solution sit for two minutes. And then you're 10 years younger. <laughs> Just kidding. Went down the rabbit hole of TikTok shop for a while and I got quite a few things. And then I realized I don't want to have my skincare, I don't want my skincare routine to require a million steps. That's just not realistic for me. So I'm finding what works and 
yeah so it has to be like two steps three steps tops so now i'm just gonna let this sit you'd only do this every other day otherwise your skin starts to get a little rough around the edges so this market i did this past weekend um the people next to us were pig farmers and she made these um they're called oinkment uh candles but they're made from tallow uh so lard essentially well it is lard it's not tallow it's lard um but she said i should put it under my eyes i've been using tallow under my eyes which is beef rendered beef fat and goes well with my high meat diet. Not a bad problem to have when your hair gets caught in your headband. Because I have hair. where I'm at right now with hair growth. See, it just looks so much shorter, but when it's dry and up, it just feels so much longer. But I guess, I guess I should just be grateful that I have hair again. So about a week and a half ago, I was driving out to Ellensburg with a friend for an art show that we were in and we stopped at this lake and it was such a hot day so we decided to jump in and when I was crawling up back onto the dock I heard like this little like I don't know I say it was like a pop but it wasn't really a pop. I don't know that it was a pop but I heard like something like that and I think I bruised or slightly cracked a rib because let me tell you that I have been in the most excruciating pain on this side and it's just like you know when if you've ever had abdominal surgery how much you, you find out how much you really use your abdominal mus muscles well the same thing when you bruise a rib and I heard it takes anywhere from like three to six weeks to heal um, so that's been really fun like literally everything I do involves using my rib cage. For the most part, I've been eating mostly carnivore. I have made some concessions just because of availability when I was at this market this past weekend. And also it's summertime and there are just so many glorious foods during the summer. And one of them is home grown zucchini, uh, which you saw me pick earlier. So I am doing steak zucchini sauteed in butter and avocado for dinner avocado isn't really on the carnivore diet but it's one of the concessions that i've been making and to be honest i have been feeling really good i find that i start to feel crappier when i allow other things into my diet that's when my gut starts to become an issue or i'm just sluggish or not sleeping well but man, it's also really hard to just live and you know eat this way. So it's also like, it's peaches season and I have this recipe I wanna make. I've been thinking about for uh, the whole weekend. So I'm gonna saute peaches and butter and rosemary with some dates and then drizzle it with raw honey and a little bit of gray celtic sea salt i think it'll be delicious but i'll let you know and it's also mini watermelon season so seedless watermelon is like 
I didn't even like, I never liked watermelon growing up or really even much in my 20s or 30s. But when I went through chemo last year, watermelon was like my lifesaver. And I probably went through one of these twice a week. <laughs> so I'm allowing for that too. But, you know, I also want to like feel good about my choices when it comes to food. And so, yeah, I want to make some dinner. I think the most important thing when you do any kind of or try to adhere to any kind of diet is just listening to yourself and again this isn't like a diet necessarily I wouldn't mind like leaning out I think you know it's hard to not want that as a goal too even though I know I look great um, I, I do like to be on the leaner side um, but mostly, like I said in my last video, I think I touched on it a little bit. I started doing carnivore because I kept seeing things from people that uh, talked about how good it felt with um, dealing with like joint pain and arthritis. And aminotherapy has just destroyed, I feel like, my my joints and I have so much pain and I will say now that I've been on this for even like loosely on it gosh it's been over a month maybe a couple weeks three weeks to a month my joint pain is almost gone it flared up again this past weekend because I was definitely being a little bit more relaxed but yeah, that's like when you deal with debilitating pain and to experience not having it after having it for so long, you will do anything to stay pain free. So I think like ultimately what I'm starting to transition into a little bit more is just keto. So um, hi baby. You need to go lay down, sweetie. Your leg is hurt. Baker hurt his leg again. He went crazy with the zoomies at a friend's house when I was picking him up um, from the weekend. Being gone all weekend and he stayed at a friend's. And he found a stick and started going crazy in his backyard. And all of a sudden when I picked him up, he's limping on his left leg again. So a couple years ago, he tore both of his CCLs and I got this, something called cryotherapy for him. Sorry, this is such a weird tangent from what I was talking about with uh, carnivore. But I mean, I've even put him more on a raw diet to help with inflammation. <laughs> um, well, he's on more of a raw meat diet. I'm not on a raw meat diet. But yeah, anyways, so he is limping really bad. So I went and got him a bunch of stuff at the the pet store today just like holistic supplements and some CBD products so hopefully oh don't eat that wrap there baby yeah um hopefully he will start to heal I don't know that I don't think I can really afford for him to go do more cryotherapy it's like 200 and something dollars which isn't like terrible and it totally works for him um, you can look it up. I don't even know how to explain it other than it's like these injections into his knees. I don't know. It just made him walk normal. And it lasted for about three years. And so it makes sense that I would have to do it again. So that is, that is the goal to be able to save up to get him that. Anyway, back to carnivore. I don't ever want to come across as being like super preachy and telling everybody they should do it. I don't like, I don't really care what you do as far as your diet goes. I want you to feel good and be healthy and happy in your skin. If you want to try it and this works for you, awesome. But there are far too many people out there just being like, you need to eat this way. Um, this was just an experiment to see if it worked for my body. Uh, so far, so good. So yeah, I'm pretty, pretty happy on it. Um, I think I'll probably start transitioning more keto because while well, I am about to have a crap ton of zucchini. And who doesn't love homemade zucchini bread? 
and and just zucchini in general so I am just going to start playing around with that see how I feel hi you need to go lay down and you need to rest your your weary leg go in a small bed please and then I'll take you outside in a little bit I I love this chair it's the greatest when Louis actually lets me sit on it. It's so comfy and it has the best light for videos. So this is my YouTube and chair. Um, look how long my hair is getting. It's just like, it's getting there. I still can't wear it all the way down because it's just like, so, but this is the top is finally starting to settle down. I bet maybe three months from now. I'm going in for my first haircut at the end of August, August 27th, I believe. So maybe she can kind of help me shape it a little bit, but I'm still not feeling it when it's down. I don't know, I just wanted to have a little chat, sit down and catch up a little bit. I really, really, truly am trying to share more on this channel. I think the biggest issue is I just, I don't know what to share. I'm not really working on projects right now. I'm really just trying to slow down my life and enjoy summer. I, I suppose I can share more of that. I feel like summer is just so fast and I'm really trying to soak it all in because it's my favorite time of year. And then it's cold the rest of the year, nine months out of the year. But I had some pretty cool news, some pretty good news. I had treatment yesterday the first time in four weeks I actually canceled last week because I was going to Bellingham for a market and I didn't want to feel potentially crappy so I canceled and rescheduled for this Wednesday yesterday and my oncologist and I had a really good talk kind of about just the feature of all of this and last session he had approached me about switching to every six weeks and then doubling my dose, which initially I was like, hey, that sounds a little intense, but I think it's just like, because I had chemotherapy um, and I'm assuming it's gonna feel like that, but it, it's not. But um, so yesterday we talked about that and confirmed that I do wanna move forward with it. That will just free my life up a lot more. And that's every month and a half as opposed to every three weeks going in. And then, it also, in a sense, because I'm doubling my dose, it's less times I have to go in. And then we have an end date in sight, so April. And that is, it seems like, like so far away, but really, if I'm going in every six weeks, it'll go by really fast. And then I talked about getting my port out when I'm all done, and he, I asked him what he recommended, and he, of course he's like, I would just leave it in or I always recommend people leave it in because if there's a recurrence, it's just easier than having to have the surgery again. But he's like, if it's really bothering you, you can get it out. And I said, I want it out. Um, it does like, I don't know. I just, I like to wear certain kinds of shirts and I, I really try to own it and just show up it. But I would like to not have the, the weird little bump anymore. I mean, it's totally um, aesthetic based but uh, it also does get itchy and there is a pretty good chance of infection so it would be nice to just have it removed and if I need it again then I'll just have the surgery again. Uh, something that I did bring up to him was just like how weird it is to think that when I'm done with immunotherapy it's really scary to think about not being on anything and like on any treatment. At that point, I will have been on active, some kind of active treatment for a little over two years. And so, and he's like, yeah, I know it, that it, it's like really unsettling for people. But and then I asked him, I'm like, well, okay, so if I have a reoccurrence afterwards, what will I go on chemo again or whatnot? And he said that he would probably just put me back on immunotherapy since I'm having such a good response to it. So that was pretty exciting to learn that, um, more likely than not, I would just have to go on immunotherapy again. Even though statistically speaking, um, my chances of it working as well go down going back on it after going off of it. I don't know why, but 
we're just gonna hope that that isn't um, something that I have to do. Other than that, I'm just a little tired today for the rest of the, I just went to lunch with my mom and some of her clients and my mom hired me to help her work on an interior design project. So I am flying back to Maryland in a week and a half to start piecing everything together. And um, it's it's been really interesting and I've been learning a lot about what I like and what I don't like in the design world. And one of my projects was picking out artwork for them from artists and, and I realized I'm really good at that so I'm just excited to fly back to Maryland and, and I'm going by myself this time <sighs> yeah so just I mean gosh by the time I get back from that it'll always already be August 1st and so I can't believe we're already going to be in August and then my birthday is in a month my 44th birthday so I'm trying to figure out what I want to do for that my dad is coming back from Thailand. He lives in Thailand and I actually have a five and a half year old sister. Long story and I and I haven't shared much about it, but I'll be meeting her. We, we like FaceTime, but I'll be meeting her in person for the first time. And that's gonna be great and kind of weird. Mostly I just look at her as another niece, but yeah, so I plan on spending, they'll be here for two weeks. So I'm just gonna spend some time with them. You know, I'm in this interesting place where I I don't know, like, I want to talk about my experience with cancer and where I'm at now, kind of like move on a little bit and focus on what is in the future, even though I know I have a really powerful story that can help a lot of people. So I always will be actively talking about it in some way. But yeah, I'm trying to figure out what is next and where I want to my life to go. I've been in a really, really great headspace for the last couple weeks. Mostly like the last two weeks. I feel like I turned this really awesome corner and everything feels brighter and lighter and I feel lighter and I feel so hopeful. So I want to keep with that momentum and just continue dreaming bigger and bigger and doing the work to believe that I deserve the things that I want for myself in my life. So that's kind of where I'm at and this is such a random video I know and I'm trying to have a little bit more structure but um, I figured a little update is better than not putting anything out there. So I do have something that I'm going to start working on um, that is cancer, cancer specific and I think will be a great resource for people video wise and I'm going to try to put that out next week so stay tuned for that I've been writing a ton on my sub stack I have so many posts coming in the near future and I have a really good system and schedule set up so Sundays are going to be my like long form essay that I share you know just all my random thoughts of life usually just kind of focus on one topic I'm thinking about Fridays are going to be a shorter more condensed kind of creative focus post where maybe I share a little bit of a story um but like this this week tomorrow which will be in the past when this comes out um and I'll put a link down below but it's going to be this yummy restaurant recipe with a little bit of story involved that I just came up with and so it's just like an opportunity for me to just share anything creative that I'm doing and then once a month I'm going to do a monthly curation where I share all of the things that I've come across over the course of the month so books and podcasts and um writing pieces and and I don't know anything that has been making me feel excited and joyful so I'm really excited about this and I'm really wanting to keep be consistent with my writing because it's it's really lighting me up right now so with all that being said, I hope you are well. Um, say hi in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. I, I'm trying to be better about responding, but between YouTube and Instagram and the occasional TikTok I do, it's a lot of response that I have to do and I have to be in the right state of mind. But do know that I read absolutely everything and um, I enjoy hearing all of the really nice and positive comments. So uh, follow along if you like what you are watching and I will see you later.